Civil Engineering Academy, helping you in your journey to pass the PE. All right, welcome to Civil Engineering Academy. Today we're solving a problem from Geotech. And the problem states a five foot wide strip footing is constructed on the surface of a silty sand soil. That's a tongue twister. As shown in case one. If the footing is embedded to a depth of 40 inches as shown in case two, the percent increase of the bearing capacity is most nearly what? So here's case one, footing is on the surface. Case two, footing is underneath, buried 40 inches. And we got some soil properties. So um, if we're using the Civil Engineering Reference Manual, um, there's a couple equations you can look at for bearing capacity. Equation 36.1b gives you the general general bearing capacity equation but for sand we're going to go to 36.9 B and that is the bearing equation in sand so what that gives us is it tells us that Q is equal to CNC plus gamma DF and Q plus 0.5 B gamma N Y gamma. Alright, so that's the equation we're going to use. So let's go ahead and solve for the first case. I'll call it Q1. So case 1. And what we have for case 1 is 0 cohesion. Cohesion is 0. So this goes away. Plus, alright, uh, this gamma is 1. Density is 115 PCF times. the depth which is 0 times NQ doesn't matter okay because all of this goes to 0 okay 0 plus 0 0.5 times B which is the width of the footing which is 5 feet times 115 PCF times N gamma for N gamma these are bearing capacity factors you're going to be using uh, table 36.2 and for a feet of friction angle 30 degrees I'm going to use an N I'll look up both of these and gamma is 19.7 7 and N Q is 22.5 okay so now I'll just go back in here and gamma is 19.7 so we just need to worry about this term here and that gives me 5663.75 PSF alright so let's look at case 2 now in case 2 we also have zero cohesion so this first term goes away plus the, now we have a depth of footing so we have to include this term We're not on the surface so we've got density of 115 PCF times the depth of footing which is 40 inches and converting that to feet I get 3.33 feet okay and then we got NQ which we looked up at table 36.2 is 22.5 plus 0.5 times the 5 feet which is B times 115 your density times in gamma which is the 19.7 okay figure this out add them together and I get 14280.13 so what we're asked to find is the percentage increase percentage increase and that's gonna be 14280.13 divided by 5663.75 that gives me 2.52 so 100% would be 1.0 that means your increase is 152% you're at 2.52 so you're 1.52 over 
100%, which is 152%. Closest answer there is D. Big increase. Anyway, I hope this helped you out. And there's usually a good geotech question like this about bearing capacity on the exam. Uh, head on over to Civil Engineering Academy for more tips and tricks related to the P exam. Thanks, bye.